guys, how are you all doing? I'm Will Zoom. On the menu today is going to be roast cauliflower with a roast cashew nut butter with a cauliflower and mint vinegar. This is a delightful vegetarian recipe. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Let's get started. So guys, we're gonna make our roast cashew nut butter. It's so delicious. Add the nuts to the tray and place in a 180 degree oven for approximately 15 minutes until golden brown. Now I'm gonna turn the fruit processor on and once it's running, I'm gonna add in the nuts. And you're gonna continue blending until it forms a gorgeous paste. It could take anywhere from five to 10 minutes, depending on the power of the fruit processor. Wow, that's incredible. Let's have a try. That tastes extraordinary. So now to that, we're gonna loosen it up so it's more spreadable. By adding a little bit of olive oil. And that is the roast cashew nut butter done. Easy. Pour into a container and cover with cling film to avoid a skin from forming. Now put this in the fridge while we prepare the cauliflower. Simply chop the end off. This releases the exterior leaves so you're able to get into the core. Then get yourself a pair of knife and in a circular motion, cut around the core carefully. Bingo. Cut the florets into quarters or half, depending on the size. So then they'll cook quicker and also they'll cook evenly as well. Keep the scraps from the cauliflower. We're going to make a delicious cauliflower mint vinaigrette from this. To the cauliflower florets, add some olive oil, some butter, some garlic. Don't worry about the garlic skin, you can remove it or keep it on, that's totally up to you. Some thyme as well, don't forget that. Fresh now cover the tray with tin foil and cook at 200 degrees for approximately 40 minutes or until al dente. In other words, it has a slight bite. Then remove the tin foil, season with a generous amount of salt and pepper, give it a mix so that evenly distribute the ingredients. Then cook for an additional 15 20 minutes until golden brown. Now we're going to make the vinaigrette while the cauliflower is finished up in the oven. So grate the scraps that were kept from before on the finest setting. Now you don't cut yourself. This is a great way to use up all the cauliflower. And then now add some lemon zest and the juice from half lemon or full lemon, depending on the size of the lemon. Now to this, add about a teaspoon of honey. If you don't want to use honey, you can always use agave, maple syrup, or even just regular cast sugar. They all do the job brilliantly. Then add some olive oil just to bring it all together. You don't want to add too much olive oil. You don't want it to just taste like olive oil. You want to taste every ingredient. Here I've got some gorgeous fresh mint. It smells incredible. Good trick to remove the leaves from the stalk. Hold the top end and pull. Good. Now place the leaves one on top of another. Place the largest leaf at the bottom. Then roll it up, making sure it's nice and tight. Then chop it as fine as you like. In chef terms, this is called chiffonade. Voila. Oh, that's incredible. That's delicious. Guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop us a like. And if you're new around these parts, guys, I really appreciate it if you can click that subscribe button. It means a lot. And go follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. Give us a go. It's delicious. And take a picture and tag me in it on Instagram at WillZeroX. I'll see you next time.